bring Roger on. Uh, thanks a lot. Go right to the, to the top here. Yep. You're going to look like Roger in about half an hour. Oh, yeah, right. So you will. <laughs> what I want you to notice, what I'm going to kind of draw your attention to has to do with use of the body and then how the racket moves right around contact and after contact. And across the board from professional players, you'll see their torso, their hips, their shoulders facing 90 degrees to the baseline during their setup. In other words, mm -hmm. her, the whole front of her body is facing towards the camera. By the time she hits, the whole front of her body turns to face the net. And that's what really powers the shot is that forward rotation of the, the hips, the shoulders, the chest, the torso. Am I more open? I'm more open on my side. You'll see. This rotation of the body is what provides the energy. It's what provides the power and the strength for the shot. And when that's done well, the arm and the hand is, is free to just kind of move smoothly and relaxed. And so that's why players like her and all other professional players look like they're pretty effortless and smooth is because their shot is being powered by the biggest, strongest parts of their body. And the smaller parts of their body are just real relaxed and fluid. When it gets reversed, when players don't use the big parts of their body, the small parts have to take over and do the hitting. And that's when players get really short, choppy, like uh, tense. Well, it's, that's like a spacing uh, thing. Key like kind of principle here is we want the arm and the racket to move freely because the body has moved uh, powerfully. And so like everybody's favorite example of that typically is, is Roger, how loose and relaxed he is. Um, watch how the, the racket just almost kind of looks like he's not even doing anything with it necessarily and really in a very real sense he's not so this release of the the racket is what we're going to focus on just watch how his racket here moves just before contact and right after contact how it he sets it in motion up towards the ball and then there aren't any jerks or twists or turns or any kind of sharp jagged edges the, everything just kind of continues in the direction that he sent it on initially. Right. So uh, when I look at your forehand, <clears throat> you're doing a really nice job with the, the, um, the body usage part of it. Um, you set up strongly. You're just like Roger and Victoria, your hips, your shoulders, your torso are all facing towards the, the camera on setup. And then they lead the shot. This is what I normally work on with players, is the, the leading, having the body actually be the power source. You're doing a really nice job with that. At, at contact, your hips, your torso, your shoulders are facing forwards towards the net, which is exactly where they should be. Okay. Right around contact, you become more tense. And there's kind of a few different flavors of uh, follow through. What I want you to notice is how your hand kind of gets stuck here. Right Right, and so you're kind of steering the racket around, and I what? Can feel it when that's happening. Okay, all right, good, good. This is the thing we're going to focus on. Um, I'll, I'll show you a couple forehands here. And, and I don't always do it though. It's really weird because when when I don't do it, when I don't steer it, mm -hmm. that's a great shot. Super, it feels effortless, it right? So nice. I'm like, oh, there it is. Yeah. When I do it, I don't know. That's what. That's the thing we're going to focus on, and frequently you're kind of clamping down right around contact. And so what I want you to notice uh, here, if you were to open your hand and just kind of give a thumbs up, your thumb here would be pointing upwards. Yeah, when we go back to uh, watch uh, Roger really quickly and we'll look at Victoria too. Way to bring Roger on. Uh, thanks a lot. Go right to the, to the top here. Yep. You're gonna look like Roger in about half an hour. Oh, yeah, right. So you will. Yeah, uh, you'll stop doubting me by like the end of today. I don't doubt you. I don't, I don't, I don't <laughs> so right here, if he were to stick his thumb uh, upwards, it would point upwards. 
And I want you to watch the, the top uh, edge of his racket right here. Watch how shortly after contact, it becomes the bottom edge. And so now, if you were to point his thumb, it would be pointing downwards. So his hand, we call this uh, release. The release of the racket head is enabled by a relaxed arm, a loose arm. When things are, are tense and tight, the racket doesn't release, and you end up just kind of steering the racket around the body. And that sucks up energy that could have been transferred into the shot because you were tense right around the point of contact. There's such thing as forcing that motion. Watch your, I'm just gonna play this in slow motion. This is a, a fake turnover. It is, I'm still pushing it. Like, you're hitting first and then you're like, oh, coach told me to, to, to wave. And so then you're, you're turning it over. And so the, the shot before you were, you make it, Ian. Come on. <laughs> the shot before you were tight and it never turned, it never turned over until it was behind you. And then on this one, you're hitting and saying, oh, I need to make sure to turn it. And you're like forcing it around. Really, it should be a natural byproduct of the body powering and your arm being loose and relaxed. Right. We don't want to be tight and tense and, and inhibit the, the movement, but it's also not helpful to force it. Like that kind of defeats the purpose. See I see it now. Yeah. All right, so this is our focus point on the, the forehand. And to begin with, we're just going to do some really slow, relaxed uh, shadow swings. And we're going to kind of put an emphasis on a couple things. Um, starting in a ready position, I'm going to uh, mirror you. So just kind of pretend you're looking in a, in a mirror here. Um, you're going to set up the way you normally do, lead with your body the way you normally do, and then right at uh, contact, we're just going to emphasize this kind of thumb, whether you want to focus on the top edge of the racket or your thumb. We're just going to emphasize this, this turning of the the racket coming around as you finish your shot. So slow, relaxed, shadow swing. Yep. The first thing that I, I drew your attention to as we were looking at Azarenka and Federer was how the, the body turned first and really led the swing. Okay. And as all your attention has gone to your hand, you've, you've stopped doing that and you're kind of just focusing on like this part of it. Right. And now I want you to bring back in the good turn of your body that you're used to doing, okay. but do it consciously. So lead with your hips, lead, yeah, ex exactly, exactly. Your body is powering the shot and leading the shot. Bring the speed back down again. But you're just letting your hands turn over and release. Body, and let the racket turn, good. Body leads, racket turns. Good. Those are your only two thoughts right now. Lead with the body and then let the racket move, move freely. Body leads. Good. Uh, take a look really quick at how you're moving right now. Here's your last uh, couple. So big focus points here were uh, leading with the body and then relaxing the, the hand. Leading with the body. And then letting the racket turn. So now there's a smooth, gradual, there's a, a long, wide circle now that's being created by your, your racket. I see it. And the, the racket is smoothly tracing that circular path. That's exactly what we want. Before there were uh, jagged edges. Yeah, you would kind of like go this way for a while and then the racket would take a left turn and you'd go this way. And all I'm trying to get you to do is just let the racket move. Just let it move freely. And this, this is a really nice example of that. Body first, hand relaxed. Picture that circle in your mind that we just highlighted.
Okay, here's what we're gonna do, Audrey. I'm gonna toss um, two balls off to the side okay. and you're gonna let them go by and just use them as kind of timing practice and practice moving through this smooth circular path while the ball bounces past you. So I'm gonna to toss it like around here. Yeah, exactly. You're just gonna practice going through the motion. And then after two of those, then I'll toss two of them where you can hit it. And then you'll practice hitting two of them. So two fake tosses and then two actual hits. That makes sense? All right, so two fakes. One more. And now two real hits. One more. Nice job. I'd like you to bring the temp, not, not a ton, maybe 25%. Just bring the speed down a little bit okay. so you can really feel what you're doing. And what I really want you consciously to be focused on is just loosening your, your hand and your arm as much as possible. All right, here we go. Two fakes. Relax your hand and your arm. And now two hits. Yeah, good, 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 good. Again. Good job. Two fakes. Good. Two hits. Relax your hand. Good job. Two fakes. Two hits, just relax your hand. Two fakes. Two, two hits. Nice. Okay, good job. Let's take a look at this really quick. Let's watch a couple. So that, that, that br that's fine, no worries. That, that clicking sound, that brushing sound, yeah, it's from making a lot of top spin. And that's because you're, you're really coming upwards really steeply. But this is nice. This is a great example of just the racket freely moving. It still feels like I'm holding it a little too long though. Like, but now that you pointed that out, I can see that. Right, I'm still holding it. Like, I need there might be a split second. This is where you, there was no release no before compared to, compared to this. So like we're on the right path, whether or not it's yes. perfect right now. I see it. I, I, I don't need it to be like 100% loose and, and free uh, as long as we're moving in the, in the right direction. Keep your hand, your arm as relaxed as possible. Keep leading with your body. Okay, now we're gonna do two fakes and then two hits again. The two practice ones without hitting. Nice relaxed release. And now two hits, keep it nice and relaxed. Good, good movement. Good job, two uh, fakes. Just commit to leaving that hand totally relaxed. Now two hits. Good. That one you held on to? Did you feel it? Good. So that's the first time it's really popped back in. Uh, the fact that you felt it right away is fantastic. That's, that's really good news. Two fakes. That's one that we definitely do not want. This is where you're holding on to it. Two hits. Nice. Two fakes. Two hits. Keep your hand relaxed. Nice, good Audrey. One more time. Two fakes. Good, two hits, keep your hand relaxed. Yeah, good, nice job. All right, we're gonna go back to uh, no man's land. So halfway back to the baseline. 
and we're just gonna repeat from here. So a little bit more space now, a little bit more time with the ball coming towards you. Go ahead and make a few shadow swings for me. Good. Just emphasizing the looseness, the release of the racket. Yep. Now we're gonna do uh, one fake toss and then three hits in a row. So one fake, just emphasizing the release. Nice, now three hits, just release. Keep your hand relaxed. Yeah, good, good, good. One fake. Three hits. Nice, Audrey. Yeah, good, good, good. I like that one a lot. Good. That last one was really nice. Can you please uh, just kick that ball to your left there? Yeah, thanks. All right, one fake, one practice one. Just relax your hand. Oh, three hits. Relax your hand. Good job. One uh, fake. Good. Same swing. It's okay. Relax your hand. Good job. All right, I want to take a look at a couple of these. <laughs> the way in which, if you just watch the, the tip of your racket move here, and I think in particular at full speed, here's at, at slow pace. Ooh, it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, that's because the, the ball hit off your frame a little bit. Um, but if you just watch the turning of your racket, how it turns around, and in full speed, watch the release of your racket head. The word that you used earlier, which I think is very accurate, is, is push, like pushing. Yeah. Watch your racket head move on this one, how you're holding, holding on to it and, push, oh, and pushing it around. And so, <laughs> no, it's a, it's a hybrid. So on this one, as you hold on to it, it's hard to create pace. It's hard to create yeah. spin. You're, you're basically fighting against your own your own body. And so there's really not anything more to this technically aside from just training it. Okay, we're gonna hit, hit a couple from uh, the baseline. I'm gonna set up the ball machine so I can be over here. All right, we're gonna run through the same process we were just doing. Go ahead and make a couple shadow swings first and just remind yourself, remind your body of, yep, a loose wipe. <laughs> AKA, you're not forcing the turn to happen. You're just allowing it to happen. All right, here we go. So one fake. Nice, Audrey. And now three hits. Yes, good, good. Keep your hand loose, let it release. Yep, that's it, that's it. Don't worry about it. Yes, good, good, good. Uh, number, hit number two and hit number three, you hit off center. And I, I need you to just totally let those go and realize it's a completely different thing okay. and keep all your attention just on letting the, the hand release. Okay. You did a really nice job. Okay. All right, same thing. First one a fake. Yep, and now three hits. Really nice. It's fine. Let the racket turn on its own. Let it release. Yes, 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 yes. Good, good, good. Nice job. Uh, let me show you really quick those last two. There's a difference between them. This is the second to last one. You kind of reached for it a little bit and just watch the tip of the racket. There's like a little bit of kind of, um, almost kind of fake, like a forced like circle. Yeah. And now I want you to watch, this is your last one, the one that you said was more uh, fluid. Do you see the difference? Yep. Um, this one you're allowing it to happen, and it's a natural release. Watch in full speed. From start to finish. Yeah. I mean, from just from, from here to here is just one deal. 
Whereas the other one was like this. Uh, it's, it's segmented. I don't even know what the right word is. Here's the second to last. And then what? This is the last one. To me, the one. Well, in my whole upper body is fluid with it, too. The other one, it's like a. Oh, yeah. You're a little off balance, I yeah. think. But that last one, to me, like this is exactly like we want to rinse, repeat, just like can this and have it be. This is your n new, like normal forehand, is this amount of looseness and release. So, so uh, starting off at half speed. Body first, relaxed hand. You ready? Yep. All right, here we go. All fives to start. Good. That's nice, good. That's a good tempo. That's a good 50% speed. Yep, real calm and relaxed. few more at that speed. Yep. Good. One more at five. Okay, let's go up to six now. The so 10% addition. Everything stays relaxed. Yeah, good, good, good. Body leads, hands, hand is relaxed. Yeah, that's nice, Audrey. Even threw in my figure eight. That was good. Trademark. Good. That's fine. Totally fine. Misses don't matter right now. Just execute well. That was really nice. A few more sixes. Yep. Good. Now let's go up to seven. Add ten percent again. Let's go a little faster. Good. Keep it there. Stay relaxed. I think you can go a little faster. Yeah, good, good. Good job. Relax the arm again. That one got a little bit tight. Good. That was a good one. That was nice. Last couple. No, it's slow. Bring the speed back up. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Nice, good, Audrey. Good, nice job. So yeah, I, I feel like seven is kind of your, your ceiling right now. Yes. Down the road, you, you've got more potential, but seven is where things start getting a little shaky yeah, and it's I like, uh, like, I don't know. <laughs> this was earlier this morning holding on. And so you're, you're keeping the racket from moving. 1984. And, uh huh. And this is 2021. 2021. You see the difference? Yeah, for sure. This really? is, this is release. The more you try to, it's, it's kind of a, a paradox. It's, it's like the more you try to force it, the further away from it you're going to get. You have to just let it happen. This looks super athletic. And this one is just much more uh, guided. Oh. Uh, Audrey, do you remember? Oh, it's, it's funny. Do you remember this morning when you were doubting me about looking like Roger? <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> so watch, watch his racket. See the turn, and watch your racket. Look at that. Two views stylistically are a little different. Yes. Um, Roger very much has an extended arm yeah. through contact. You have a little more of a bend, which is totally fine. Yep. But now, watch uh, how he keeps turning it, and watch yours how it keeps turning. Now there's actual release. Yeah. 